This is Infinity Note. You can use it to draw whatever you like or take notes about something. In infinite space, you can just keep drawing and drawing and drawing. Technically, there is a limit, but for most people's use, you won't reach it. Or if you do, just go in the opposite direction. There should be plenty more room. To move around an infinity note to draw more, you use two fingers, slightly spread apart. If they're too close, it'll seem like you know, it's not working quite right. Actually, that worked okay. Never mind. Well, on some screens, it might treat two fingers close together as a single line. See? which you don't want. So two fingers spread apart so you can see between them and then touch them on the screen and move them and that will pan the screen around. If you want to zoom in you simply do this or this. It follows wherever your fingers touch so as long as you keep your fingers on the screen you can control what you see. Some phones have a feature where if you get too close it'll pop it together. Uh, there's no real way around that. Um, so, once you're inside something, you can draw more. Or zoom out. And draw lots more. I used to draw pictures and take notes. With Infinity Note, you can share the pictures that you draw through different services. Simply choose options, then share what you see. Then you can choose from many different services such as uh, Bluetooth or Dropbox or Facebook, uh, Picasa, or you can send it as a text message attachment. That's what I'll do now. and you simply enter who your recipient is and send it and they'll get the picture. This is how to copy, cut, and paste with Infinity Note. There are two ways to copy. One is to simply click a line with your finger. You can deselect at any time by clicking in the dark space. The second way is to select multiple lines. You do this first by pressing somewhere on the screen without moving your finger around. If you do a long press, you'll get a circle if you did it correctly, and the phone will vibrate. To select, all you do then is draw a gesture, and anything the gesture crosses or encircles will be selected. If you want to turn parts of the selection off, you can simply press on the individual lines that you want to switch on and off. If you happen to click uh, outside of a line in the black space, everything will be deselected. Once you have everything selected that you want to copy or cut, press the circle one time. It'll change color, and if you have sounds turned on, you'll hear a sound. If you want to cut, all you simply have to do is press the circle again. It will erase what you selected, and there will be a copy stored in another location. If you want to paste, simply switch to the other location. We'll do that now. Uh, actually, we'll s to do it, you need to tap with two fingers on the screen without moving. And the space will change to gray, and there will be a copy of what you selected. There'll be a black circle where your previous circle was. If you want to paste, simply press the black circle. And now you will have created a copy. To paste multiple copies without leaving the gray space,
press and hold the black circle. Each time you do it right, there'll be a sound if you have sounds turned on. So we were able to paste multiple copies without leaving the gray space. Another feature that you can use when you're in the gray space is that you can rotate your, your copy. Just simply press some place around the what you copied and it will pivot around its center. If you rotate it and you use two fingers, it will stop rotating until you start again with one finger. To exit the gray space, just like everything else, just click someplace in the gray space with no lines under it and you go back. You can change the color of what you select by simply selecting something, either with single selection or multiple selection, and go into the options and picking a new color. And what you selected will not take on that color.